As mentioned before, the i7 Pro uses two major sources of heat, other than the naturally occurring conduction. Hot air accounts for the majority of the energy transferred during the roast. When you make change to hot air settings, the ceramic heater powers up to blow hotter or cooler air into the drum. You can immediately see the changes you make to the hot air settings by observing the hot air or inlet curve. This is the most impactful heat source roasting coffee on the S7 Pro. Halogen is the secondary heat source in terms of total energy transferred. When adjustments are made to halogen level, the lamp will output different amounts of radiation heat. We will talk a little bit more about radiation heat in roasting in later videos as it is very new and interesting. The effect of halogen change cannot be seen as immediately as making hot air changes. However, we have noticed that it has a significant impact on the drum temperature. Thinking about the potential difference that radiation heat can offer compared to convection heat transfer is very interesting to innovative roasters around the world. Often roasters talk about airflow. Often roasters are asked, how do you approach airflow? This is definitely a very vague question as each roaster has different mechanisms to contain and circulate air in the system. When using the S7 Pro, the pathway to keep in mind is that the ambient air is drawn in through the top and is heated at the ceramic heater as it is pushed down into the drum of the coffee bed.